oxygen therapy set, okay, this is the high pressure oxygen therapy set, is very important, is safety. Okay, very important to remember is the safety aspect. Uh, because the pressure that is uh, filled, the oxygen that is filled into this oxygen cylinder is in the region of about 2000 psi. So you're talking about very, very high pressure. Okay? So very important to remember is, uh, as with all the regulators stated everywhere, use no oil. So be very careful, no oil. Okay? So if you see the cylinder valve it is squeaking here and there, don't use any valve. Right? Your hand also, be very careful that it is oil free. Because if you get some oil and some stain on here, then it, you can result in an explosion of what we call due to oxygen support combustion and due to auto oxidation, it can actually auto combust and cause an explosion. So be very careful, never never if there's a leak in the, in the system, never use a plaster or any combustion material to try to seal the leak. That's very dangerous. If it's leak, then you have to return the regulator or send them back to uh, the professional to come and supply you and to make sure that those are checked. Okay? So this is the cylinder. And as you can see here, the cylinder comes with what we call as a, a pin index valve. Okay? That means it's indexed for safety reason to only be able to draw out oxygen. So if, it is, if this is filled with other gas like nitrous oxide or carbon dioxide, you wouldn't be able to connect an oxygen cylinder to fit into the pin in that valve. So that's very important. So this is a cylinder and this is the, the valve here, cylinder valve. Yeah? Now before you connect the regulator to the cylinder valve, make sure that the pin on this uh, regulator is aligned. Okay, you got to see a two pin here and make sure also you have what you call this, huh? a seal here, a bonded seal. Okay, if you lose a seal, if there's no bonded seal, then you know that you cannot, this is a very reliable, it's a reusable seal, it should last you for uh, many many months or even years in, in use. So if you need this, uh, to call if you lose this, then call. Make sure you get a proper uh, replacement. Don't use any other type of seal again. Okay? So this seal fits here. So before you connect the regulator, make sure the bonded seal is in place. Then slowly align the valve here. Okay, to make sure it's like it, and then make sure the two pin here. On the regulator fits in the two pin here okay so you line here and once it's in then only you use the the yoke screw here to tighten the the yoke onto the cylinder valve that's very important eh? so tighten as usual is clockwise and then once you tighten it you can position it anywhere and then tighten it okay so the next thing after you tighten the the regulator onto the cylinder valve make sure the cylinder uh, flow meter is turned off if you're not using and then turn on the slowly gently turn on the cylinder valve the cylinder valve is turned on anti-clockwise to open the valve and then clockwise to shut off the valve okay so slowly turn clockwise and then you will see as you turn you will be able to see the the, the cylinder content gauge will indicate some pressure okay for the fully charged cylinder you should get around about 2,000 psi. Uh, once you get a two, and then of course, as you use the, the the gas in the cylinder, then it will drop proportionally. Okay? For a fully charged cylinder, this is a 1.4 liter cylinder. You should get at 2,000 psi around about 1,400 liters. Okay, meaning that if your draw rate, if you turn on at one liter, okay. As you turn on the flow and you read the flow of the center of the ball, okay, align the center of the ball to whatever calibrated value. If your doctor prescribed you use it at one liter, two, or whatever, so this is the, the flow rate in liters per minute. Okay? Remember the flow meter is calibrated at liters per minute. Meaning that if you set at one liter, Theoretically, you'll be able to 
draw out uh, from the 1,400 liters capacity about 1,400 minutes of use. Okay? About 1,400 minutes, round about, take or minus, about 10%. Right? To account for some leakages here in the system. So, if you, if you set up to 2 liters, you should be able to get round about, about 700 minutes. 700 minutes roughly equates to 10 hours, you get about 600 minutes. Another 100 minutes, maybe 3 hours, around about 13 hours on use. Okay? And then of course, after you use it, then you make sure, remember to turn off, turn off the flow, turn off the flow control after you finish using it to conserve the oxygen in the cylinder but not only that you see the pressure is still there so remember to for safety it's always best to turn off the cylinder valve also turn it clockwise to turn off the cylinder valve okay and the next best thing if you're not going to use it for long remember you see you have a lot of residual pressure in the system so it's best also to release off the residual pressure so that for safety as well as to ensure that the regulator and the whole system here will last you many many years eh? so this is a very reliable regulator uh, set and it should last you for years if you use it properly this is a humidifier uh, connect the humidifier yeah again in this case if you look down there, it's going to be clockwise. This anti-clockwise now to turn on the uh, to turn on the the to connect the humidifier to the flow meter. And this is the nozzle here where you connect to the your face mask or your nasal cannula. Uh, don't try never overfill this. Remember, fill this is the maximum level and lower level here. Keep the water level at this uh, between the minimum and maximum and ideally fill it with distilled water if you don't have distilled water fill it with boiled water if you good enough and then try to change it on a daily basis to prevent prevent uh, uh, you know growth of uh, bacteria inside the system so try to change the water every day okay, to prevent fungus growth in the humidifier change the water every day Ideally, use distilled water, if not, boiled water is good enough. A trimming connection here that fits to, that should fit to this uh, outlet here, to this nozzle here. Okay? And this is a disposable product, so you may buy this, you can order this from our company. Change, ideally change this probably once a month or so.